here out of Hastings, Minnesota. This is a Creighton team that likes to get up and run. That one off the glass, high and in for Lauren Jensen. Settle inside here as they get the offense rolling into the hands again of Jensen, and the turnaround inside is good for Emma Ronson. He now kicking it inside. They're trying to find it inside to Ronsick. The turnaround with the right hand. That's good. Ronsick with a nice little baby hook in the interior, and that just shows her versatility. And of course, the fans in Sioux Falls have seen that for years from the former O'Gorman Knight. Going down the floor. The number 22 Blue Jays. That three from the top of the key drips home. Quarter of action. That one off the glass is good. And some transition hoops for Kennedy Townsend. She'll pick up the harm along with the hoop and go to the three-point line with a chance at the three-point play the old-fashioned action here inside the Sanford Pentagon as we roll on in quarter number two and the Blue Jays just continue to fire away. Three-point bucket for Molly is for a long, long time. Turnover here, transition opportunity for the Blue Jays. They get a bucket. Evans got her hands on that one, almost forced the turnover. Now Ronsick left corner three, and that's good. Showing her reign. UConn, always a dangerous team in the Big East nationally. Ronsick driving inside, another bucket there, and the crowd appreciating the effort she's provided so far, and there'll be a force to be reckoned with. 6-1 senior out of Brussels on Friday. That November 16th against Green Bay before Nebraska. Sioux Falls Christian and O'Gorman High School blew in here. Nice pass, nice finish. Ronsick finding inside her teammate. This has just been the Ronsick show so far. Jensen with the finish. She's now very unselfish, and anybody can lead them in scoring in any given night. And here's Molly stroking it from three. Got to love a lefty who can hit a three. Molly knocks one in from up, and another one opens up, and it just becomes really tough to guard, but. And they're playing out in transition. They're causing turnovers, and they're getting to the rim. <laughs> That's Ooh. why they're a top 25 team in the country. Mike expects them to be time to put it to the test now out there against these opponents and see if they can make it happen. Yeah, it takes time. It takes time, especially for Coach Collins to kind of come. Set yourself up, and this NDSU team has a really, really long path to the season. A rare miss there from Emma Ronsick. In fact, that was her first miss of the game. The putback, though. See what Creighton can do here with Ronsick on the bench. More of the same. They work it inside. This time the bucket is good for Kennedy. She stays out on the floor along with a few of these other starters now as Creighton continues to pull away. There's another nice bucket from Jensen. She's got 18 points. And I'm just really, really impressed what I'm seeing from this Blue Jay team tonight. Ronsick got bumped around, kicked it back outside, and her pass found the open shooter. Prove, but at the same time, all those things are very fixable. Nice little fadeaway there from Jazetta, Minnesota. Said her name a few times tonight. She's now got six points and three rebounds. Jensen 